explain the Reynolds experiment. In the year 1883, Sir Osborne Reynolds performed an experiment to find whether the flow of fluid is laminar, transition or turbulent. For this, he designed a setup called the Reynolds apparatus, which mainly consists of three parts. They are a large tank containing water at a constant head, a small tank containing some liquid dye having the same specific weight as that of water, and a horizontal glass tube having an opening to the water tank from one end and to the regulating valve at the other end. Let's allow the water to flow from the large tank into the glass tube and then let's introduce a liquid dye into the glass tube along with the water. Now when we open the regulating valve for a short duration, we see that the water flows out of the glass tube smoothly and the liquid dye also flows in the water in the form of a straight horizontal filament characterizing laminar flow. Now when we open the regulating valve a little more, then before we see that the water flows out of the glass tube at an increased speed than before and the liquid dye also flows in the water in the form of a wavy filament. Characterizing a transition flow. And now when we open the regulating valve completely, we observe that the water flows out of the glass tube at a very high speed. This characterizes turbulent flow. Thus we observe that the flow of water in this glass tube occurs in three forms, that is, laminar, transition and turbulent.